Time is money, and at the end of the day, all that matters is how many trees you put in the ground. First things first though, every planter has to use flagging tape in order to separate their land from the others. This helps to avoid confusion as to where someone's land ends or how deep they have to plant. The last thing you want to do is plant too close to somebody else's trees or forget to plant an entire area because someone didn't flag properly. Alright, this is my piece. Unscarified land. Junk all over the ground. Nothing but tall poplars. This stuff gets in your way all the time. Yeah, this stuff is poplar. And it's annoying. Tall poplars aren't the only thing that you'll encounter while you're planting. There's boulders or small greeny plants that'll hide your trees or even fallen logs that you'll have to repeatedly step over. That's how I rolled my ankle. Alright, it's time for me to go and plant some trees. There is a technique to this though. Rennie will show you exactly how to plant a tree. Hello, my name is Rennie Salford and I'm a tree planter. I'm going to give you a little demonstration. Alright, so, say I want to plant right here. So, I'm going to, first of all, I'll do a little screed. With the toe screed right here. I'm going to plant my shovel. I'm going to crack it open. Pull it back. And place my tree. I'm going to pull out my hand. And just stomp. The next tree would be at 7 feet spacing. It would be approximately right here. I'm going to do another screed. Crack it open. Oh, that's not deep enough, so I've got to get bit more. Plant the shovel harder. Open, do a little C-cut. Plant the tree. And stop. Now we continue doing this at a fast pace for eight hours. And you know pretty much what tree planting is. After planting my area full of trees, I have to move to the next piece of land and help other people finish their pieces. Lucky for me, my crew boss was passing by and was willing to give me a lift to the next piece. Meet Chris Johnson, my crew boss. When I arrive in the next area, I meet up with Rennie and Simon, who I will be working with for the rest of the day. Team planting can be a very effective way of finishing land quickly, or in some cases, a big disaster. If one person messes up, everyone messes up. Lucky for me though, our team has never had an issue, and planting with other people can help you from going bush crazy. After about six hours of straight planting, it's now five o'clock. Time to head back to the bus. It's like tree planting is some natural habitat. It's like, you know, it's kind of like cool. Wait, so like, ah, uh, you know, that's all right. How'd, uh, how'd the planning go? Not so great. Not so great at all. No? The land sucks, you see. No, we don't mean that. Yeah, that's not good way. There you go. Oh. Oh. How's it going, Chris? <laughs> not too bad. How'd your day go? Oh, Fantastic. Nothing like green. Got hey, you predicted it, right? Tonight. Rain? You predicted yeah, it. Yeah, I, I took a lucky guess. Five o'clock in the know? morning, you predicted it. I figured it was it. either going to be rain, hail, or swarm of locusts. And, you know, it was rain. Yeah, maybe swarm of locusts next week. Right? Maybe the last day. Hey, Locust wouldn't last half an hour out here. Oh, shit. <sighs> Mystery to me, we have.
have agreed With which we have agreed And you think you have to want more than you need Until you have it all, you won't be free Society, you're a crazy breed I hope you're not lonely and with that is one day planning. After cleaning yourself up, it's time to grab some food. Nothing's better than a good meal and some good company after a hard day at work. Once dinner's over, it's time to relax. Sitting back and just laughing with friends really helps out here. Oh, and don't forget the beer. That helps too. Tree planting can be a really rough time, but at the end, I guarantee you'll learn something about yourself. Or, at least, have some fun. Tree planting. One hell of a ride.